Hey everyone, are you frustrated by receiving no coverage on date of service denial? This can be a major obstacle in medical billing, but with the right approach, you can resolve it very quickly and you can prevent it in the future. If you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button below this video so you get notifications every time whenever I post new content, helping you to stay updated and improve your skills in this field. Join our community and let's grow together. Let's talk about what coverage means. In medical billing, coverage refers to patient's eligibility during the date of service. If the patient insurance isn't active during the date of service, you will run into the no coverage on date of service denial. For example, if the patient is active from February till October, your date of service should be within this time period. If your date of service is before February or after October, you will receive no coverage on date of service denial. Let's see how to approach once you get the no coverage on DOS denial. First thing you have to do is just check whether the claim is denied correctly or not. You have to check the patient's eligibility in their respective payer portal. Just check whether the policy is active during the data service or not because sometimes insurance may deny the claim incorrectly stating no coverage on DOS. In case if the patient coverage is active but the insurance denied it as no coverage on DOS, now you have to call the insurance and reprocess the claim. When the claim denied correctly, the next thing you have to do is just check your billing software whether the patient has any other insurance information. If you found another insurance information, just check the eligibility. If the patient is eligible, then resubmit the claim to that particular payer. When the claim denied for no coverage on date of service and you couldn't find any other insurance information with your billing software, now just check the patient's eligibility and try to find out is there any other insurance information or not. For example, BCBS insurance denied the claim for no coverage on date of service and there is no other insurance with your billing software. Now you have to check the patient's eligibility with availability and try to find is there any other insurance like you may find another insurance like Cigna or whatever it is. Now try to check the patient's eligibility with that particular payer and if they are eligible then refile the claim to that particular payer. If you are dealing with constant no coverage denial or if you don't have time to check all your patient's eligibility, you can contact me. I can help you to grow your business. In case the denial is correct and you couldn't find any other insurance information with your billing software or using your respective payer portals, now it's time to contact the patient to get the active insurance information. Once you get the active insurance information, resubmit the claim to that particular payer. If the patient says, they don't have active coverage during that particular date, then except Medicaid, you can bill the patient. Prevention is better than cure. Dealing with denial is always time consuming and delay in payments. So we should think about how to prevent this denial. Confirm patient's eligibility before patient visits the doctor. If you found there is no coverage, then contact the patients immediately and get the active insurance information. If the patient doesn't have active insurance information, then you can cancel the appointment. Ensure the patient's eligibility details are accurate. For example, patient visited the doctor's office last week and you have checked the eligibility and found the policy was active during last week. This week also patient visiting the doctor and you may think the policy was active last week. There is no need to check. What happens? if the coverage is not active during this week, right? So it's our responsibility to check the patient's eligibility whenever patient books an appointment. Inform all your patients to notify the provider office if there is any changes in the coverage details. I hope you like this video. If you want any denial topic to be covered, please mention in the comment section. See you on the next video.